Intel reveals Ponte Vecchio, its CHP CGPU it will be used in Aurora, the world's first exascale computer. In brief, Intel has revealed new information about its C graphics architecture at the company's HPC developer conference in Denver, Colorado, ahead of the Supercomputing 2019 event. We already know a few details about Intel's gaming-focused CGPUs, which you can read more about in this preview. Now, Intel's SVP, Chief Architect and General Manager of Architecture, Raja Kadeh has revealed the architecture roadmap for Z and its product lines. The Z architecture will be offered in three designs, LP, for integrated graphics on processors, HP, which covers the mid-range, enthusiast, and data center AI segments, and HPC for high-performance computing. The first Z graphics architecture for HPC and AI will arrive as the 7 nanometers Ponte Vecchio graphics card. Intel calls it the company's first exascale graphics card, and it will debut in the Aurora supercomputer, the world's first exascale computer, at the Argonne National Laboratory in 2021. Intel revealed the node architecture of the Aurora system, which consists of two Xeon scalable processors called Sapphire Rapids, six Ponte Vecchio graphics units, and 16 compute units. The finished system will have more than 200 racks of servers, 230 petabytes of storage, and over 10 petabytes of memory. Intel chief executive Bob Swan said the company is on track to launch our first 7 nanometer based products, a data center focused discrete GPU in 2021. Z cards for consumer gaming will arrive next year, probably on 10 nanometers. Ponte Vecchio utilizes Intel's Foveros technology, which uses a 3D stack die design that allows products to be broken up into smaller chiplets, where I.O., SRAM and power delivery circuits can be fabricated in a base die and high-performance logic chiplets are stacked on top. It also features a MIB, embedded multi-die bridge, TEC, Compute Express Link Interconnect, and other IPs. The ZHPC architecture also uses a large, unified cache called Rambo, which, when paired with Foveros, provides huge amounts of memory bandwidth to the GPUs and CPUs simultaneously. HPC, high-performance computing, and AI workloads demand diverse architectures, ranging from CPUs, general-purpose GPUs, and FPGAs, to more specialized deep learning NNPs which Intel demonstrated earlier this month said Raja Kadu, chief architect at Intel, in a statement. Simplifying our customers' ability to harness the power of diverse computing environments is paramount, and Intel is committed to taking a software-first approach that delivers unified and scalable abstraction for heterogeneous architectures. Ponte Vecchio will use Intel's One API software initiative, which Intel says can provide a unified and simplified programming model to for more on this story, visit the news article link.